You're watching Tag TV. India is well known around the world owing to its historical background, diverse cultures and interesting traditions. Its ancient scriptures and texts have been the way of life of its people for thousands of years. Today, the country is taking huge strides in the field of science and technology, paving the way towards a progressive India. So friends, I'm your host Surbhi Sharma and today in our episode of My India, we will take a look at some of the stories that very well showcase the unique culture and prosperity of our country stretching from Himalayas to Kanyakumari. India is a land of varied cultures and festivals. Be it Diwali, Eid or Christmas, every festival is celebrated with great zeal and enthusiasm across the country. The similar scenes were witnessed during the birth anniversary of 4th Sikh Guru, which was recently observed with immense fervour by the Sikh community. Take a look. Lakhs of devotees swarmed the Golden Temple, the holiest Sikh shrine in the Amritsar city of Punjab, to commemorate the birth anniversary of the fourth Sikh Guru, Ram Das. Born on 24 September 1534 in Lahore, now in Pakistan, Guru Ram Das became the Guru of Sikhism in 1574. He is credited with founding the holy city of Amritsar in the Sikh tradition. He was a celebrated poet and composed his work in 30 ancient ragas of Indian classical music. Every year, devotees mark the occasion with bathing in the Sarovar, a holy pond of the shrine, lighting candles and earthen oil lamps and distributing sweets. Guru Ram Das Ji da Prakash Ustav hai. Te idhar hai Ram Das Ji da si. Kuch bhot roon ka lagi hoyi hain. Sangta de siyar de bhot sone sone darshan hoyi Baba Ji de. At night, Golden Temple shone bright with lights and dazzling fireworks covered the night sky over the shrine. Devotees and tourists from different parts of the country trickled in to watch the dazzling fireworks and offer their special prayers to Guru Ram Das and reminiscence his teachings. almost world to कारी नहीं पांदे इतनी ज्यादा संगत होती है इतना ज्यादा राशि स्वेर दे इथे आए हुए हैं नहीं कार्य कर जा Regarded as the fifth largest religion in the world Sikhism was started around 1500 by Guru Nanak Dev the first of the 10 gurus It evolved to its final stage with recognition of Sri Guru Granth Sahib as eternal guru or teacher of Sikhs Rising above caste and religious barriers to make society a better place to live in. This is something that only few people can do and Vasan Gajera from Sura city of Gujarat is one among them. Providing home to around 850 underprivileged children from across the country, regardless of their caste and creed, Gajera's noble work has not just brought different communities together under one roof, but has also been successful in establishing harmony among them. Take a look. A home, a school and a playground for hundreds of underprivileged children, Vatsyala Dham in Gujarat, Surat City is a perfect example of peaceful coexistence of different faiths and communities. Run by the Gajera group that started it in 2006 with 56 children, it today accommodates more than 800 orphan students who both study and live here. The brainchild of Vasan Kajera Vatsyaladham provides accommodation and all the basic facilities to the children who are homeless and needy, irrespective of their race or religion. 
यहाँ पे कोई कोई बच्चे को कोई पूछा नहीं जाता है कौन सी जात का है यहाँ पे माइनॉरिटी भी है आदिवासी है बंगाली भी है पंजाबी है गुजरात भी गुजराती भी है सिंधी भी है सब लोग है कहाँ है यहाँ पे कोई नाच जात का पूछा नहीं जाता है यहाँ पे उसको तीन टाइम खाना मिलता है खाना और सब रहने का व्यवस्था होता है पढ़ने के यहाँ होती है और उसे जो कपड़ा नाइट ड्रेस और दवाखाना जो भी है सब सुविधा ये संस्था फ्री में देती है Spread across an area of 40 acres, the campus of Vatsala Dham is well equipped with all kinds of facilities like computer lab, library, playground, basketball court and hostel. Children are taught till 12th standard here and along with studies, much attention is also paid towards their overall development by involving them in several co-curricular activities including dance and music. By receiving training in the field of the choice at a younger age, children can look ahead towards a better future. मुझे डांसर बनना है। यहाँ से कुछ ऐसा सिखाता है कि हम लोग एक बार देखते हैं तो हमें याद रह जाता है। मैं डांस में ठीक से डांस कर सकती हूँ इसलिए मुझे यहाँ के टीचर सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं। बहुत सपोर्ट करते हैं कि मैं यहाँ कोई बड़े स्टेज पर जाकर डांस करूँ। बहुत अच्छी तरीके से यहाँ सपोर्ट कर यहाँ अलग अलग लोग रहते हैं हिंदू मुस्लिम ईसाई अलग अलग जाति के लोग रहते हैं लेकिन वह सब भाईचारे के तरीके रहते Besides all the facilities, Vatsala Dham gives a very strong message of communal harmony to the society. Having both a temple and a mosque in its premises, students can freely practice their religion here and even learn about each other's culture. मैं इस वास्तव धाम का खूब आधार हूँ कि जो मेरे को ये वास्तव धाम मिला मेरे को और मेरे को ये तक मिलने से अच्छा है जब अपने खुद को खुद पेड़ खड़े होके भी मेहनत कर सकता हो। और मैं हाल में दसवीं दौर में हूँ मैं खुद अपनी मेहनत कमा के खुद अपने घर की परिस्थिति सुधार कर सकता हूँ और यहाँ पे ऐसा धर्म का कोई भेदभाव नहीं है सब मिल हल मिल के सब साथ मिल के रहते हैं परंतु यहाँ पे सब मस्जिद है और मंदिर है सब सब एक ही है the initiative of setting up Vatsila Dham is an inspiration to the society that no matter which faith we practice, if we have love and respect for each other, we can live together with peace and harmony without getting involved in any conflicts. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Indian politicians and academics cheered the Nobel Economic Prize awarded to Indian-born American Abhijit Banerjee, whose proud mother told visitors crowding into her apartment that he came from a family of economists. Nirmala Banerjee showed journalists a copy of her son's book, Poor Economics, as bouquets arrived at her home in the city of Kolkata and friends and family called to congratulate her. Banerjee won the prize along with Easter Duflo and Michael Kremer. He was recognized for his work on fighting poverty. We are very proud of Obijit and Esther. We also know Esther. Uh, she used to stay here from 98 to 2000 for a research work at Meteo Buruj, Calcutta. Modi, in a tweet, offered prayers and congratulations to Abhijit Banerjee for his notable contributions in the field of poverty alleviation. Mural artists in Western Rajkot city recently came together to showcase their talent at an exhibition representing the culture and tradition of the country through art ahead of the Hindu festival of lights, Diwali. A total of 60 artists ranging from 3 years to 51 years of age participated in the exhibition, who made as many as 120 rangolis or murals depicting Hindu deities, nature, human figures among others. 
थ्री ईयर्स से लेके फिफ्टी वन ईयर के सभी अलग अलग स्टूडेंट हैं और उन स्टूडेंटों ने सभी ने दो दो रंगोली बनाई है यानी कि एक सौ बीस रंगोली यहाँ पर हुई है उसमें सभी तरह के अलग अलग रंगोलिया है More than being an art form, rangoli making holds special significance on religious Hindu occasions. Women, especially in southern and western India, make colorful murals during festivals, prayers, rituals, and weddings. Indian designers brought together a chic collection of modern and traditional designs. Fused together at Bombay Times Fashion Week in the showbiz capital of Mumbai city, Bollywood actress Aditi Rao Hyderi won a green heavily embroidered lehenga paired with a deep neck blouse as she hit the ramp for the Kalki fashion brand. This collection is really really pretty. I love this color. And from my opinion, their their work's special is that. उनका उनका काम बहुत इंट्रिकेट है और बहुत भारी है बट वो बहुत यूथफुल और बहुत एफर्टलेस लगता है एक्ट्रेस वानी कपूर स्पॉटेड अ फ्यूज्ड इंडो वेस्टर्न मिनी एम्ब्रॉयडर ड्रेस विद एन ओवरले लहंगा एस शी वर्क फॉर डिजाइनर पायल सिंगल ड्रेस्ड इन अ रफल्ड नेट ट्यूब गाउन बॉलीवुड एक्ट्रेस रकुल प्रीत सिंह आल्सो वर्क द रैंप Where shimmery gowns, lehengas, and dresses in shades of silver, mauve, black, gold, burgundy, blue, and pink ruled at the show. Japanese companies have constantly been coming up with new innovations, which are not just benefiting their own country but other countries as well. Recently, where Panasonic introduced a progressive IoT technology, Casio on the other side provided internship to students from Indonesia. A report. Panasonic has been making home appliances for a long time that have become necessary for daily life. About a hundred years ago, Panasonic developed two-lamp socket for the first time. This device makes running electric current flow to two light bulbs simultaneously. Light bulb and lighting technology still have the potential of new technology. The theme of the seminar hosted by the Panasonic was PLC power line communication. The technology of electricity that once only used to light up bulbs has changed into a technology that integrates consumer electronics and information. 住まいで、住空間、そういったところに活用していくための技術開発を行っておりますが、こういった中での IoTPLC つなぐためのソリューションとして、この新しいまあ新しいと申しましょうか、IoT として新しく構築するパワーラインコミュニケーション技術を推進しております。PLC technology conveys information through the line of appliance cord, power line, coaxial cable for TV and control line. The experiment is to control the lighting of trees from a distant place through a power cable. The power cable is simply connected to the wall outlet. It turns the red light into a different color. The line in this video is also used by PLC technology. PLC という技術、まあ電気の上を電気と一緒にですね、情報データをメールであったり。インターネットの情報を流していくという技術ですけれども、まあ、これは昔から夢の技術と言われてたんですけれども、エタイの線が2本走っていれば通信ができる技術ですので、例えばエレベーターであったり、街路灯であったり、無線が非常にこうあの活用していく流れになっておりますけれども、地下のインフラであったり、スタジアムのいろいろと無線が届きにくいところ。そういったところにこの技術の良さが非常に注目されているところです。この技術はしっかりとインフラの一つの欠かせない技術として浸透していくことを期待しております。
Panasonic technology that originated from a simple light bulb socket aims to be a pioneer in information society and infrastructure. Next, we take you to Casio Thailand factory in Northeast Thailand, which is the company's production based in Southeast Asia. It produces scientific calculator and popular watch G-Shock and many other items. A welcome ceremony was held for students from Indonesian vocational schools. During the three-month internship, they will learn technology skill at the factory. You spending time in Thailand, maybe you may worry and you have lonely feeling sometimes. <laughs> Don't worry. But from now, we are family. You are my family. This project, Gakuhan, was created by Casio in collaboration with government and educational institutions in different countries. Casio is accepting students through an internship to help them get education, learn skill, and experience different cultures. Students are greeted in Thai language and Casio gave them a special notebook to learn technology skill and enhance knowledge. Indonesian students will have uh, industrial experience, industrial character, so then uh, we as a Ministry of Education will improve our curriculum to be a better curriculum that fit into uh, industrial culture. During the factory tour, students were concentrating on the process of producing high-quality product and on quality control. え、Casio's education support project Gakuhan will create excellent human resources and lead to the development of the educational field. Service to humanity is service to God. This is what the Langa tradition in Sikhism teaches us, in which free meal is served to hundreds and thousands of people on a daily basis. Besides serving humanity, the tradition is well known for breaking the barriers of caste and creed and keeping up with the age-old traditions of our country that are based on love and compassion for all. As the first rays of sun descend over earth, the volunteers in Gurudwaras gear up to prepare the first meal of the day. The volunteers, cutting across the different socio-economic identities, participate in the service, which essentially comprise preparing food for all who visit the holy place. Even the tourists coming from foreign countries love to offer their services at Langar. And no matter how small or big the work is, they do it happily and devotedly. It felt really good. It was inspirational because everyone from different cultures, backgrounds, religions can come here in. Golden Temple, the holiest Sikh shrine in the Amritsar city of Punjab, run the biggest langar or community kitchen in India, known as Ramdas Community Kitchen, where an estimated 5,000 people are indulged in the selfless service. The langar runs 24 into 7 and feeds around 1 lakh people every day who sit together in queues and enjoy the food served to them. 
यहाँ पे जो सिख समुदाय ने खाना प्रोवाइड कर रखा है लोगों के लिए इट इज़ फिनोमिनल मतलब काफ़ी अच्छी चीज़ है ये और आई थिंक इंसानियत सबसे बड़ा धर्म होता है हर धर्म का सबसे अच्छा धर्म इंसानियत ही होता है और उस मामले में सिख समुदाय ने काफ़ी अच्छा काम किया यहाँ पे इतने सारे मास प्रोडक्शन करके इतने सारे लोग खाना खिलाना कोई आम बात नहीं है सारे धर्मों में ऐसा होना चाहिए और हर धर्म में जात पात छोड़ के रंग रूप दे छोड़ के सब कुछ छोड़ के हमें साथ में बैठे खाना खाना चाहिए और इंसानियत को आगे कन्वे करना चाहिए The tradition of langar is said to be started by Guru Nanak Dev, the first Guru of Sikhs, during the time when caste system had created a permanent divide in the people of the society. It helped in providing a common place where people, irrespective of their gender, religion, or caste, could sit and dine together, thereby upholding the idea of equality. The tradition was later imbibed and honored by all successors of Guru Nanak Dev. Today, every gurdwara has this langar service and anyone irrespective of their caste and the community can contribute to this service. Kisi bhi kism da, kisi bhi jaat, dharm, pheke, nasl, rang da, khetar da, vitkara langar vich nahi kita janda. लंगर की इंस्टीट्यूशन जी सिख धर्म के बहुत ही विलखण है ये होर धर्म च नहीं मिलती जिस पद्धर से जिथे भी गुरुद्वारा होगा संसार च उ ही लंगर की प्रथा होगी लंगर सर्विस इज नॉट जस्ट लिमिटेड टू द फोर वॉल्स ऑफ गुरुद्वारा बट गो मच बियॉन्ड दैम द सर्विस हैज ऑफन बिन सीन कमिंग टू द रेस्क्यू ऑफ पीपल इन डिस्ट्रेस With its ethics of sharing, inclusiveness and oneness of all human kind, this tradition has thus much more to do besides serving free food to the people. Although India's robotics industry is small as compared to those of US and Japan, but with time it is steadily gaining ground. Besides automotives, electronics, food and packaging, education and banking sector too, have started using robots for routine jobs and now they are all set to make their presence felt in the restaurant industry as well lately a bhubaneswar based restaurant has deployed two indigenously developed robots to serve customers becoming the first of its kind in odisha to do so have a look robo chef restaurant in bhubaneswar is emerging as a favorite culinary hotspot among localites both for its food and the experience it offers with two robots champa and chameli tasked with taking orders from customers and serving food it has become the first smart restaurant in odisha which is founded by jit bassa after he got inspired by the services of robots at a restaurant in the us these are the two uh, robots we have named them as champa and chameli we are quite unique in two respects one is we are completely made in india the these robots are uh, completely developed in india and as well as we are we all belong to india and i'm this is in bhubaneswar and the second thing is in india all other restaurants whichever have robots they have a, they are basically line followers so we we do not we are actually non line follower robot restaurant we are first uh, in the country to do so Hordes of people are flocking this food outlet to have an amazing sight of getting the food served by the robots who are even capable of understanding various languages. The robots have also been programmed to ask apna mane khusita in Odia and are you happy in English after serving the customers. Amazed with presence of robots in a restaurant customers can be seen more interested in taking pictures of these humanoid waiters. मैंने यहाँ पर दो दो रोबोट्स देखे चंपा और चमेली और वो आकर हमें सारे फूड के ऑर्डर्स लाकर हमारे पास देखकर जा रहे थे और वो लोग बात भी करते हैं तो हमने खाया बाली प्रॉन हमने खाया था और वो भी बहुत डिलीशियस था और वो हमें केक कट के टाइम केक भी ला कर दिया ये पहले बार फर्स्ट टाइम इन भुवनेश्वर तो ऐसा टेक्नोलॉजी आगे आएगा वो और भी होटल्स आएंगे पर ये सबसे फर्स्ट है तो सबसे बहुत अच्छा लगा यहाँ पर आकर First of their kind this humanoids have been developed by a Jaipur based startup using simultaneous localization and mapping or slam technology and thus 
they do not need any guided path or environment notification to be installed at any restaurant. Fitted with 17 sensors, they can sense environment, heat, smoke and recognize people and can work up to 8 hours with half an hour charge. We have made a robot manufacture. It's a complete design and technology in India. We started this idea in 2013 and in 2019, we launched it in first launch in Jaipur Radisson Blue Hotel. Currently, this robot is running in the Railway and Blue series. There is the first kind of restaurant where India's first robot will give a service. With the introduction of robot anchors and teachers, the use of service robots have become a bit common in some countries. In India, the demand for these robots is expected to rise within the next five years for both domestic and personal use. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at suggest.myindia at gmail.com. I'm your host, Surabhi Sharma, and it's a goodbye from the entire production team.